So here's something I feel just an immeasurable amount of frustration over, and I hope that you can find a way to help me. I was talking to a relative of mine when I was on vacation last week. This is a guy who cares passionately about progressive policies, is not a fan of Biden at all, but definitely is very left-leaning. We were having a friendly, very courteous debate back and forth. One of the things he said in passing is, I'm a father and I've got a kid, and like, President Biden has done nothing about the climate crisis. Like, we're in trouble and he's done nothing. And I'm telling you, if my head could have exploded, really like literally exploded, it would have. Because I know that that's not true. And this is a person who, again, I think pays pretty close attention to progressive policies and had no idea that President Biden and the Biden administration, really driven very much by Kamala Harris, have passed the most significant climate policy in American history. And this very smart relative of mine had no idea. And guess what? That's not surprising because the figures consistently show that only something like six out of 10 Americans know anything about the Inflation Reduction Act. That means almost half of America has never heard of anything that President Biden has done on climate while he has passed the most significant climate legislation in history. How? The reason I'm thinking about it is because today happens to be the two-year anniversary of the passage of the Inflation Reduction Act. I remember the day so well because I'm, before anything, a climate activist. It is a day I never thought I would live to see. And President Biden got this legislation through with a skin of his teeth majority in Congress. Joe Manchin had to get on board. Kamala Harris had to cast the tie-breaking vote. It was a miracle. And still, so few Americans know. So let me just quickly tell you some of the just big chunks of major things that in two years this legislation has accomplished. Last year alone, 3.4 million families took advantage of clean energy tax credits in their households. That translates to 750,000 new homes with solar panels on their roofs, 270,000 new homes with heat pumps in them. Best of all, these families saved $8.4 billion. And companies, meanwhile, have invested $360 billion, taking batteries, solar panels, wind turbines, and other clean technologies, and nobody has any idea. This legislation has created 312,900 clean energy jobs so far. That's across 47 states and Puerto Rico. I mean, if Donald Trump had done this, we would be hearing about it non-stop. And it's got a whole environmental justice part, which again, spearheaded by Kamala Harris, it's called the Justice 40 Initiative. It's driving hundreds of billions of climate and clean energy investments into low-income communities and communities of color. These are communities that have experienced decades and decades of dis- and underinvestment. And I mean, most importantly, it is spurring decarbonization. We are on track to reach our climate goals. That is never would have happened under Trump, never would have happened under any other Republican president. And finally, and this is particularly ironic because my relative is a union member, it is by far not just the most important climate law, but it also may go down, and I am quoting from Heat Map, as one of the most important labor laws of recent history. And that's because in order to qualify for a 30% tax credit on their investment or operating costs, clean energy developers have to follow two key labor standards. They have to pay construction workers the federally determined prevailing wage. They have to hire a designated number of apprentices who are paid to be trained. It is just really astonishing how pro-worker this bill is. And it didn't have to go that way. That was the priority that Biden and Harris made. This is what we have to look forward to if Kamala Harris wins the presidency as well, because she's already shown us what her priorities are. But how can voters be excited about that if they don't know? Please spread the word.